Hi, I'm Jared Dillingham in Cusco, Peru. Let me show you just some of the reasons I do not recommend driving yourself around this area. While I drive in countries around the world, Peru is not one of them. And my reasoning goes well beyond the flat tire we got last time in a construction zone. First, Ubers are inexpensive and drivers are too. To get from Cusco to the ancient Inca town of Ollante Tambo, it's about 50 bucks. Plus, there aren't many parking options in places you'll want to check out, like Ollante Tambo. And from there, it's easy to take a train to Machu Picchu, Peru's most famous tourist draw. Even if you wanted to drive yourself to Machu Picchu, it is not an option. There are no roads there, or even to the nearby town of Aguas Calientes, known as the gateway to Machu Picchu. You'll have to take a train. On drives to other famous sites, like the salt mines at Maras, you'll end up on narrow cliffside roads with big trucks trying to share the space with you. On the way to Humantai Lake, it's another windy single-lane road, and on this one you'll be joined by both larger buses and horses, too. It's tough to maneuver through these situations unless you're a local driver with experience. There are dogs running loose in many small towns, in addition to the llamas, alpacas, sheep, and other grazers walking between the fields. The roads outside Cusco leading to the famous Rainbow Mountain sites are often muddy. Streams run right through some of them, even during the dry season. It's not uncommon for landslides or mudslides to close rural roads in Peru, and it takes a while for them to be cleared. City driving can also be stressful. There are a lot of narrow, seemingly one-way streets with a lot of blind corners and street lights, which can be confusing for first-time drivers. At the end of the day, with so much to see and do in Peru, it's just far easier to have a knowledgeable local driver take the hassle away so you can focus on the amazing sights around you.